What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you're stopping by for the first time, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the GT500, the 20. 20 GT500 and there's a lot of things that people don't know um, that I'm gonna inform you guys because everyone thinks you could just hey we'll just go out and buy it you know and you know it's not gonna be no markup or anything like that well I have some inside information that you guys are gonna want to hear all right guys so I'm in the back of the Ram right now um, this is the first time I ever made a video back here I absolutely love of this Ram and there's so much space in the back that I decided to make a video but before we get into the video I have another channel that I made that I'm strictly doing like five minute videos they're gonna be super funny just some crazy pranks that I have planned with my friends so we're gonna get pretty crazy and stupid on there so make sure you go and subscribe to it right now it's the first link in the description please go subscribe and at a thousand subscribers I will post the first video, it will be so sick. The video will be highly edited, it'll be so professional, and it'll be pretty funny. So please make sure and subscribe to the channel. Again, the link is in the description. So now, let's begin with the video. And if you notice me sweating, it's because I had to turn the car off because I set the camera down and the truck kind of shakes a little bit from it being on, and then the camera was shaking, so it was a bad idea. I have to turn it off, open these windows, and I think we're ready to go. I'm only going to sweat for 10 minutes, maybe less. So, anyways, let's begin with the video. So, we're going to talk about the GT500. So, as we know, they released the horsepower, which is 760 horsepower. What I think of that, um, I think it's pretty good numbers. I think uh, people were not not happy with that I think they were very happy with the numbers I think a lot of people liked it it was a little bit more than the Hellcat not as much as the red eye but again like I said before um, I don't think this car is made for drag racing you know this car is strictly made to go around the track you could get it on the highway do a few row races so we know the horsepower they also released another thing and that's the price that's the most important thing is the price it starts out at seventy three thousand dollars which is pretty expensive to start out at. Usually, uh, many American cars besides Viper and Zero One don't really start out at that expensive. So the Hellcat, for example, starts at like 65, 68, but the GT500 started out at 73,000. That's whatever. So if you want to get a fully loaded GT500 with everything, even the track package and all that good stuff, it will run you about $95,000. Now that sounds like a lot of money. Almost $100,000 for a Mustang. I don't know. Is it worth it for you guys? What do you guys think? I really want to know what you guys think. You know, because everyone, it's so easy to just say, yo, yeah, just go buy it. You know, a lot of people just tell me, yeah, you just go buy the GT500. But if you want to just think about how much the price is, now would you buy it? Would you buy a GT500 for 95000 Now, we did say that it cost 95000 but we're forgetting one thing. And, you know, Ford does that a lot with their expensive cars. And it's not really Ford that does it. It's the dealership. And it's the markup. They mark the heck out of these cars. And from a source that I know at a dealership. Now, every dealership that is a dealership that sells these type of cars like Mustangs GT, and GT350s you know not just any dealership is gonna get them those dealerships will get at least one so I talked to a guy that works at this dealership he's higher up in sales or whatever there and he told me they sold one already for fifty thousand dollars over sticker fifty thousand dollars let's do the math real quick let me take my phone out I got my phone right here so let's say uh, the car cost about 95000 times 6% tax. So that's 5700 5700 plus 95000 We're at a little over 100000 Now let's add the 50000 over sticker. We are at $150,000 for the GT500. Now I don't know. I don't know. I'm not rich. That sounds like a lot of money, but I think that sounds like a lot of money to a lot of people. Not just me, to a lot of people, even people that got money. Unless you're a billionaire, then that's different. 
$150,000 for the GT500. Hmm. Now, we're still talking about a Mustang. Now, I know a lot of people are like, yo, it doesn't lose its value. It's a good car. It's a Shelby product. It won't lose the value or anything like that, right? But who in their right mind would buy that car off of you for $150,000? Now, I, it's, at the end of the day, it's still a Mustang. Now, I guess a Shelby and all these cool parts on it, but it's still just still a Mustang. Now, who would pay supercar prices for a Mustang? Let's run down a list of cars that you could buy for 150000 You could buy a ZR1. You could buy a Viper ACR. You could get a used McLaren for about one hundred sixty. Uh, what else could you get? You could get a Porsche, use Ferrari, pay 20 or 30 grand. You could pay 30 more grand and get a Huracan, a used Huracan. Now, I'm mentioning cars that are highly respectable and, and they're supercars. But again, the Mustang for $150,000 is just ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just cannot even dare buy that car for 150,000. Now, of course, not all of them are going to go for 50 plus, but I know one thing for sure is they're not going to go anywhere less than 10k over sticker. The guy told me they have not had one GT500, not one, sell for under 10k over sticker. So that means 10k over sticker and plus. And still with 10k over sticker, we're at we're at $105,000. I'm sorry, there's no way I will pay $100,000 for a Mustang. I love Ford, I love what they stand for, but that car will never be worth $100,000. Never. And this is from someone that owns the Ford. I love Ford, and they're cool and all, but I love every brand as well. So I'm not just a Ford fan, or I will, you know, love them no matter what. No, th that car is not worth $100,000. It's just disappointing that they're marking them up, which I know that's gonna happen, but also that it's 95,000 for a fully loaded one, which is, that means they're literally charging for every single option. That means 20 grand in options is in that car. So they must be charging a lot of money for the options. And I don't know, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys think it's worth it? 150,000, no, let's just say 130. Let's just say they're only doing 25 or sticker. 130, 120,000 for a GT500. Now, it just to me, it won't be worth it for me. If I can find one for a sticker, which it's going to be pretty hard to do, really, really hard to do, then maybe I'll, I'll get one. But as far as right now, when I heard that one sold for 50 over a sticker, and it wasn't like the first VIN number or anything like that, it was just the allocation. It was just the allocation for one. And I was literally like shocked and then I was like I'm out that's more than I'm willing to pay for that car There's no way you will ever see me pay a hundred and fifty thousand Even a hundred thousand. I will not pay six figures for a Mustang So let me know in the comments below what you guys think now if you have a GT Would you trade it in for a GT 500 and pay six and pay six figures for it or? If you don't have a GT, would you still pay six figures for that car and also answer this question? Do you guys think? It's worth six figures. I'd like to think I'd like to see what you guys think because I feel like your opinion matters a lot. And um, I always love your opinions, even if it's not something I'll agree with. It's cool to read the comments and see what you guys think. It causes a good conversation in the comments below. So I love whenever that happens. But yeah, guys, um Monday. So in two days, uh, we're going to the dealership because uh, there's a car that I really want to get. And I've already contacted a dealership for it. So this car is uh, six figures. It's a six-figure car. Um, you could comment down below what you guys think that car is as well. And um, I don't know how it's going to go. And um, maybe we can get that car. We don't know yet. I don't want to say what the car is. I don't want to make a video about it until I know we can get it. And I just want to see it in person. I've never seen this car in person. I want to see, you know, how do I fit in it? Does it feel comfortable? You know, things like that. I've never seen this car in person ever. So it's going to be uh, exciting. So stay tuned for that. And I'll keep you guys updated on the Hellcat as well. So stay tuned for that as well. There's a lot of things happening. 
A lot of things changing on the channel, so just stay tuned for that. I'm never satisfied with what I'm doing. I'm always trying to change stuff. Um, the car is going to the track Wednesday. So today is Saturday. So four days away from that car going back to the track. We did a lot of retuning. A lot of things changed with the tune. Because I think the tune had a lot to do with why the car ran uh, pretty bad. And uh, you know also the temperatures and all that. But the tune, we refined the tune. We touched a lot of things on that tune. And we changed a lot of things. And that car feels a lot different. I hope I can get that car in the low 11s. I'll be pretty happy. So there's a lot of things happening. I hope you guys are ready for all that. The summer just started and I'm ready to go all out and give you guys some super awesome content. So with that being said guys, it's time to let you guys go. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I know I haven't been posting these videos but it's been over a month and a half that I've been searching for a new car. A lot of deals fell through. A lot of cars fell through but it's been a long month and uh, I've been distracted with that it's been a long month of trying to figure out the next car and uh, it's been a lot of cars I've been looking at test driving I know I haven't gotten none of those on video just because number one I don't want to keep making videos of telling you guys hey I'm getting this car 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 and it not happening you know I don't want to do that so when I know I can for sure get the car and I know I for sure want it then we'll make the video about it and it's just better that's kind of what I like doing you know I don't want to keep talking about it and it not happening so once it happens I'll make all the videos for you guys and uh, we'll go on from there but anyways I'm gonna let you guys go so if you guys are new to this channel make sure you subscribe if you guys like today's video give it a big thumbs up leave your comments and all your concerns and what you guys think the next car is gonna be I know we did order the Hellcat but there's something else that I want so comment down below and also don't skip the ads because I appreciate everything you guys do and not skipping the ads means a lot to me so shout out to you guys for being awesome and I'm gonna let you guys go because I am soaking wet right now literally my shirt I'm sweating from being in this truck of making this video but I'm out peace